Back in May, I spoke to the uh, entertainer Asa Murphy on the show. He topped the bill of Patrick O'Connell and Jerry Malumbly's Triskelum Theatre Company's Irish Cabaret Night in Harrow. Now his act went down an absolute storm. Asa has been working hard on a new album entitled Take Me Home, and I'm absolutely delighted that he joins me uh, once again. Asa, hello. Hello, Jerry. Good to talk to you again, pal. Asa, I'd like to remind listeners about your your background. You're you're one of seven children uh, with roots in Cork and Kerry. You were reared in Liverpool until the age of 19. Uh, What did your parents decide to do then? Yes, um, I'm from a a very large uh, family, uh, which I I describe as Scouse Irish. So um, my parents went back to Ireland when I was 19. And the other half of my family were raised in Mitchellstown of Fomoy. And a lot of them still remain there to this day. So we, I've got a large family in Liverpool and I've got roots and family still in, in Cork. Excellent. So now you, you constantly been uh, backwards and forwards to Ireland and have a, a passion for Irish music. Now, you're not only a singer, but also a composer and musician, all of which is uh, shown to good effect in your new album. Now, all songs, interestingly enough, on the album are original and vary between sort of rousing pub type songs to soft ballads and uh, love songs. Tell us more about the, the, the mix sort of and the genre of the music. Well, um, I think we've had this conversation in the past, Jerry, where... There's an awful lot of wonderful Irish music that is out there, but it tends to be covered an awful lot. And, you know, I always felt it's important for Irish music to be new as well. We need new Irish music. So instead of just covering the same songs over and over again, I felt it was about time that, uh, you know, I, I personally wanted to produce a whole new album of 12 brand new Irish songs with different themes, like you say, some of them, are arousing dancey pub songs. Some of them are quite funny, such as songs like Dimple and Chin. But then there's songs that are very reflective, such as Take Me Home. Um, and also, Jerry, a lot of them are based upon personal experience. They're all they're about things that have happened actually in my life. So I'm very proud of the album because, like you say, it's 12 brand new songs with an Irish theme and also using great musicians again in Liverpool with their sort of Irish roots as well. Yes, now I would enjoy listening to the album. It's, I'll have to say it's full of surprises with some songs with a comedy value such as uh, Shenanigans and uh, also the track you've uh, released as uh, the single also with a video off of Dimple and Chin. That's right, Dimple and Chin. Well, that, that comes from a true story. When I, I met my mother-in-law, the first thing she said was when I met her was she pointed at me and said, Dimple and Chin, Devil Within. And I, I subsequently hear that this was actually an old saying, which was first said by one of the popes, believe it or not, Dimple and Chin Devil Within, as, as a bit of a joke. So I wrote the song all about the things that have occurred to me in my life, putting it down to having this dimple in my chin, <laughs> which is, a, I think, is a real Irish thing. Indeed. Now, we have details of the album on a banner on our website. Listeners need to just click on there or uh, go indeed to uh, your Facebook uh, page to find out details of how to uh, buy the album Take Me Home. Now, you've been quoted as saying that uh, while you enjoy singing cover versions of songs and they go down well, when people can listen to an original artist, they will uh, uh, they will naturally do it. It must be satisfying that, uh, that all of the songs on the album are originals. Yes, yeah. And I think as well, we've been doing several release shows here in the UK. And I think the beauty of it is, is that when you, you're playing to an audience who've already listened to the album and you hear them singing the lyrics back to some of the songs, it's quite it's so satisfying to sort of think, well, you've sat down and composed that song. And if it means something to somebody, well, you know, that's a big deal. It really is. And, uh, and that's been very satisfying that, again, people come up after the show and say, Do you know what? The, I like this song. That song means something to me. Um and they're all original, like I say, n- n- not not a cover version in sight. Right. Now, on the inside flap of the CD cover, you credit those who've uh, played their part musically. Who who are the artists uh, featured? Well, the mu- the musicians um, are, again, Liverpool, Irish musicians. We've, we, we have um, a John Wheatcroft, who's a wonderful mandolin player on the album. Peter Morgan, who's a, an Irish uh, violin stroke fiddle player as well. Uh, Pauline Donovan who is uh, doing the backing vocals on the album and singing on Take Me Home. So all of the, uh, and we've got great, um, oh, Paul Thomas, who plays the low Irish pipes, the penny whistle and the flute on the album as well. 
so we've got a great bunch of me and, and obviously playing guitar myself great bunch of of musicians who've made the album uh, real quality excellent now you of course uh, acknowledge also uh, your wife kelly and your children yeah because you know when you're a musician you give up a lot of of um time with your family because you're traveling or you're performing and they sort of like you have to have the support of your your close family members and they they constantly give me that support they come along to the shows and you know when they can and they're there and you know just and then and then it's just back to real life jerry where when you're in the house and you've got jobs to do and and you're not in special when you get home but you 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 appreciate that sort of you know keeping your feet on the ground and that type of thing and the same with all of my family because all, all my brothers my sister and my parents as well who, who are a, a very big supportive network Indeed, and uh, you're, as you mentioned, your parents, Peter and Jackie Murphy. And uh, your dad, as you told us before, bought you your uh, first guitar. Yeah, my dad, uh, yeah, well, I saw a picture of him playing the guitar uh, when I was very young, and I, I think I, I, I badgered him to, to buy me a guitar, even though I didn't realise at the time that money was so tight. But eventually he was able to buy me buy me one, and I, it became my thing then. I started playing guitar when I was about 12 or 13, and his musical influences were heavy on mine, you know, country music, rock and roll, swing and Irish music, particularly my dad loving the music of the Furies, the Dubliners, the Chieftains, people like that. And I remember the Furies coming to Mitchellstown um, and it was a big deal. And we, we all went along to see them um, at a local a local venue in Mitchellstown, just out in between Fomoy. And Cork and uh, and yeah, so that that his musical taste had a big influence on how I would eventually write and perform. Now the album "Take Me Home" is out now, and there are many stories behind the musical uh, stories. Tell us about the, the the one you've called "I Saw the Virgin Mary." <laughs> well, that that was a a true story about a mate of mine who came over to Mitchellstown, and we were all having a good uh, session in the local pub called the Corner House, and um, he'd had enough. And he decided to walk home back to my mother's house in Bally Arthur. And on the road, as a lot of people will know, sometimes there's just random statues of the Virgin Mary. And there was one on this particular road with a fluorescent light above above the Virgin Mary's head, which came on um, with a motion sensor. So he's halfway up the road after a few pints and suddenly the Virgin Mary appeared to him and he said he fell down to his knees and confessed all his sins. <laughs> So I, I turned that into an amusing song about this guy's experience of coming across the Virgin Mary after a few pints. Oh dear, cracking stuff. Uh, uh, so what else is on the horizon with you, uh, plays and such like? Well, we have the return of Irish Annies in 2023 to the UK and fingers crossed Ireland. And that's a, a musical I wrote set in a pub um, which features heavily... Uh, Irish music and original Irish music and it stars um, Ricky Tomlinson from the royal family fame as one of the main characters and we have several other actors and actresses in the show as well so that that comes back in 2023 and then I have a few other musicals and plays which I've written the story of Buddy Holly returns the story of Bobby Darren and a brand new musical I've written called Grandmother which is about the relationship between a mother and a daughter when a new baby is born. So now that the lockdown's ended, Jerry, it's full steam ahead. That's excellent. Now, you've just completed three sellout shows uh, launching the album. Yes, yeah, we did, right around the, the Liverpool area, and we go down south in a few weeks as well. And then hopefully things are just getting put into place to have the album released in Ireland and hopefully come over there and, and do the, the the album show in Ireland as well. Next week, we film the video for Dimple and Chin with Ricky Tomlinson in, and so people will be able to go on YouTube and watch the video along with the song as well. Excellent. Now, take me home. There are 12 tracks and a lively mix of songs. You can clap your hands, stamp your feet, uh, sitting uh, alongside the haunting ballads and comedy numbers. Uh, after all your hard work, you must be pleased with the, the finished product. Yeah, I, I, I really was because uh, it takes a lot of work and you, you're sort of wondering how things are going to uh, turn out, you know, so that when you listen back to them, you're not thinking, oh, I could have done that better or differently. But we spent time on the album 
and I'm very pleased with how the songs have turned out, the order of them, the the the, the meter of them. So you've got fast ones, you've got songs that you know you can sit down and reflect to, um, the lyrics as well. You'll be able to listen to the lyrics. Some of them are, are very based upon real life stories. So yeah, I'm I'm pleased with the Jerry, and I'm I, I, it's something that's going to be. I think it's going to be something that I'll continue to do at this point in my career now is, is push the envelope with that sort of like original music performing. It's been a real pleasure, Asa, catching up with you and I wish you every success with the album. Details are on our website, irishradio.org. Click on the banner and you can uh, uh, check out Asa Murphy on uh, Facebook. Asa, lovely to speak to you again. You too. Lovely to speak to you, Jerry, And thank you, as always, for all the support and lots of love and luck to all of our uh, Irish listeners and thank you for keeping Irish music and original Irish music uh, alive Well I was born in September 1971 the second of the Murphys there were five more to come as me mother held me closely and gave me a kiss and there's from Kalani whispered in this He's got a dimple in his chin, he'll have the devil within A naughty boy through all of his life He's got a dimple in his chin, he'll have the devil within He'll always be trouble and strife Well on the first day of school, I got into a fight He was in the wrong, I'm sure that I was right In the headmaster's office with the face bright red He looked me up and down and this is what he said He's got a dimple in his chin He's got the devil within A naughty boy through all of his life He's got a dimple in his chin He's got the devil within He'll always have trouble and strife But when I met me wife I knew it struck gold I could see us forever Till we were grey and old I met the mother-in-law She wasn't impressed She punched at me chin And you can guess the rest He's got a dimple in his chin He'll have the devil within A naughty boy through all of his life He's got a dimple in his chin He's got the devil within He'll always have trouble and strife When I started work The boss he was fine I'd always be an early, about a quarter to nine He promised me a raise, but he was never about When I finally found him, he started to shout He's got a dimple in his chin, he's got the devil within A naughty boy through all of his life He's got a dimple in his chin, he's got the devil within He'll always have trouble and strife Well if you want a quiet life, I'm not the one for you I've always been in trouble, I've a story or two But if you want some excitement and a crack to begin Then always choose a man with a dimple in his chin I've got a dimple in my chin, i got the devil within A naughty boy through all of me life I've got a dimple in my chin, I've got the devil within I'll always be trouble and strife, yeah I've got a dimple in my chin, I've got the devil within I've been a naughty boy through all of me life I've got a dimple in me chin, I've got the devil within I'll always be trouble and strife, yeah! A dimple in me chin, the devil within But I've had a wonderful life I've got a dimple in me chin, I've got the devil within I'll always be trouble and strife, yeah! I'm a naughty Murphy, I've got a dimple in me